Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 5, verse 4. What could have been done? What could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I look that, where, I mean, wherefore, when I look that it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wild grapes. And, and now go to, and now go to, will I tell you what will I do to my vineyard? I will take away the hedge thereof, and it, and it should be eaten up and broken down, the wall thereof, and it shall be trouted down. I like to give all prayers and honor and glory to you. How about you, Mel? Shah, about you, Mel? Shah, about you, Mel? Shah. Giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone who deserve double honors, rightfully so. Shalom on to the Akim, pushing the word in sincerity and in truth, and being faith based, and being prepared for what is to come and what is to come. Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the RFID, temperature mark of the beast, 200 million missiles hitting the soils of America. Shalom to the chairs of the Lord, look like a whole full of life to the chambers. Shalom to the chairs of the Lord, shooting laser beams. At the ungodly and the heathens, rightfully so. Hey, I brought to God, Lord, to the course of this video. Build your faith up. I'm just a vessel seeking salvation out of this filthy place called America. And back in righteous hands, a hundred percently. You know, and um, I woke up. Time is. Uh, the water, the water, waking me up. So it's Saturday, July, July 30th, 2022, the year to turn up. And everything is turning up. And it's on course to perfection. All right. So, um, I was, uh, I turned my, um, well, you know, my, yeah, you get feeds and stuff, certain brothers, some videos brothers put up. You know, a lot of videos go up. And um, so I heard this video, I saw this video, and I saw, I was watching it, listening to it, rather, and, um, you know, dozing off, waking up, because I'm getting ready, I'm going to go to fuck, hell to work, wait a couple, wait a couple of hours, <sighs> and I heard this, so I'm going to let you brothers, I'm going to let you brothers and sisters hear what I heard, one of the elder brothers in Mississippi said, and it was really dynamic, alright, so, after I heard it, I just went and looked up. Because I remember a verse. I remember a verse having this in it. It was jo it was in Job. When um when the um when Satan said to um I'm gonna read that verse real fast. I forgot that verse. When Satan said This was Satan said to, to um Yahweh. Uh it says Job chapter chapter one verse nine. Then said then, then Satan answered the Lord. Uh, let me see something. Um, oh, okay. Let's start at Job chapter one verse eight. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth? And perfect and upright man, one that feareth Yahweh and escheweth evil. And then Satan answered the Lord Yahweh Yahushah and said, Do if Job fear Yahweh for naught? Right? right? So he said, um, And then, Has not Thou made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he had on the 
on every side. Thou has blessed the work, the work of his hands, and and his substance is increased in the land. So the point was was the hedge. See, Job wouldn't have ever do none of this stuff without him having let's get keywords that he had. He had he feareth Yahweh and he eschews evil. So those two right there, those two words right there, he had for Yahweh while y'all shot. So that's why he had um had this hedge around him. So even Satan knew he was protected. All right, Satan couldn't do nothing to Job because of that hedge. Okay, so the brother said he said something when I was listening to it, and I, I was dozing off. I was, I was I probably was asleep. You know, you know, you just sleep and you hear things, and I said I heard that. I heard the word respect the hedge. I woke up. <laughs> I woke up like a clear woke. Right, I'm gonna let you hear what I heard. Right. That's what he said. Let me see if it's that. He said, I'm just going to go a little bit in the front. I'll run the side, you can hear it. You know, benefit them, you know? But just, you know, making a point, you know, through the Holy Spirit, man, we're going to be all right, man. You know, like the, uh, like the other brothers of Hyde. Continue on Illinois 38 East for three quarters. Salaki, I feel like the, the damn robotic voice was messing with him at this moment. It kept talking for the point to get like cluttered, but he said it. That he said respect the hedge. That's what I heard. Of a mile. Like the brothers of Hawks said, you know, uh, the old brother, you know, down in Mississippi. Basically, we gotta respect the hedge, man. Cause see, the uh, the scary. Yeah, respect the hedge, and what? This is the next point. This thing ever. You know, to me, and I'm sure to y'all too, entering Jacob's trouble without a hedge. Don't you know that? I, I thought about that a, a while ago, right? When I was re I was going with Job a lot, Book of Job, in that part. <clears throat> I thought about that. And um, when he said that, I was like, wow. And I'm telling you, I woke up and I was like, man. So I started looking for verses dealing with the hedge. So I ran into that verse in Isaiah. Now the Lord, the vineyard is talking about us. The vine, the um, the vineyard, the vineyard, that's us. The parable of the vineyard. That's the name of this type, this title of this of Isaiah chapter five. So, I read that based upon the word hedge. So, that's what that's what has been taken from the multitude, from the I mean, no, from the majority of us. You know, of the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That hedge that that that, that Satan said that that's around us. Alright? <clears throat> and that's what, that's what Satan said to the Lord. He said, let's read it again, Job chapter Job chapter one verse ten. Has not has not thou made an hedge about him? So we are the Job's. So like the elder brother said, he said, we got to respect the hedge. That's the protection, man. And um, it's a verse. Um, it's a lot there. It's a verse that, that clarify what's the hedge. Oh, how it goes. Um, so I can do this. Come on, really? Hey, Salakia. Alright. <clears throat> so, what is your hedge? Your angels. Sheesh. Salakia. What is your hedge? Your angels. And, um, <clears throat> that's what's around you. And like the, the, the Satan said to the Lord, to Yahweh, right? He said, has not. Job chapter 1 verse 10 has not thou made a hedge about them about him in this case about us you know if, the, if we don't have the hedge respect the hedge you know 
Because trust me, the hedge is watching. The angels. You know? And, um, and Yahweh Shemuel Shah sent out his angels to um, scope the, the area. Right? That's how <clears throat> our enemies got to us. Because our, our, our Lord Yahweh Al Shah didn't have our hedge around us. When he took that hedge, hedge over from us, we, we, we were done. You know? And this makes logical sense that he says, Has not thou made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he have on every side? Thou has blessed the work of his hand and his substance is increased in the land. And trust me, you know, um, angels got their hands in a lot of stuff that's going on on earth. You know, through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, the, the, their commanders, the commander in chief, the Howard Yahweh sent them out to um, help his elect, make them fruitful. Because they say they got spiritual powers, man. You know? And we got to respect the hedge, man, that the Lord sent out to protect us. All right? All right, so I want to read this verse right. He says, um, it says, Psalm 34, verse 7. The angels of the Lord, Yahweh El Shah, encampeth round about them that fear him and deliver them and delivereth them. So, like I said, the, the, few, the few words that's in these, um, two chap these two verses right here, which... It says, when you go up in Job chapter 1, verse 8, it's the word feareth. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job? The Lord said, He said, You consider my servant Job? Look, look, look at Job. 